This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, with the continuation of the WebDriver IO series, today I'm going to cover different states of the element that you must have seen in Selenium. We have different methods like is displayed, is exist method, is enabled method. So there are some extra methods that are available in WebDriver IO. Uh, it's really amazingly good. So what I'm going to do that, okay, I'll go to my page class over here, right, in Blaze page. Uh, I'll do one thing, let's see, I'll create this particular, some heading is written over here, right, some text. So I inspect this guy and I want to check that, okay, this particular method, I mean, this particular heading is displayed on the page or not. So if you go to WebDriver IO API, on their documentation, you search for uh, is a displayed method. Okay, so is displayed method says that okay, return true if the selected DOM element is displayed. It means the element is available, element is displayed, actually displayed on the page or not, right? For example, the style is equal to display, uh, visibility, and the position, and like that. So if element is not displayed, the property will be displayed none. So ID is not displayed, not displayed like that. So I'll give you some examples how to handle, okay, how to use properly is displayed method, simple. So first we have to create a web element. So I'll do one thing, I'll create one uh, get for, let's see, this is for main header. So I'll create one getter for main header and uh, my header is this. So this is, you can see that H2 class is equal to this, home underscore title. So I simply say that you return one element that is with dollar and single quote. This is h2 dot class name. So I'm using CSS selector for that h2 dot class name home underscore title. Right. So let's see. I have created this particular element, and what I'm gonna do, I'll go to my test script, and then I'm going to create one more it block. Okay. So this is my first it first test i'm going to create one more it over here so we can create multiple okay it blocks over here like that and then i simply say that uh, uh, let's see main heading or main heading exist something like this and then i'll create a callback function like that and i simply say blaze page dot what is the method name the main header getter that we have created dot i simply write is displayed or not so is displayed method will return true or false so i'll just do a console dot log and then i'll try to print it on the console that it's actually displayed on the page or not and then you run it okay let's run it again and you simply write over here npm run test you will see that browser is getting launched and uh, done and you see that two test cases getting passed one is get text for all the main links and the second one is main heading text okay exist or not main heading exist or not so this is the first eight block and this is the second eight block and you can see that somewhere we should get true you can see the result is true for this particular main header so you can see that main header is uh, uh, created over here with this and whatever i'll show you one second main header first it got created is was checking that element is displayed or not so internally it's calling this particular function and you can see that s2 dot home title that is what we are using and then finally it's returning true over here it means element is displayed now what i'll do i'll do one thing that i'll go to my page and i say that okay let's see uh, titles i just deliberately change the class name over here okay s2 dot class name i'll provide i do a wrong class name and then i'll run it again and then let's see what happens now this time it should give you false so yeah it is both the test cases got passed and this time it's giving you false right so is displayed method will return a boolean true or false simple on the basis of element that you have created so let's make it back to this side okay like that now 
another method is available that okay let's see how to check that okay this main header is i'll write another method one more it blocks that main header header enabled or not okay i simply write enabled or not and this was instead of exist i say that main heading displayed that is more appropriate right for enabled there is another method we simple search that is enabled method is there this guy is saying that okay it returned true or false if the selected dom element is enabled it's available on the page but sometimes what happens is that okay that element is disabled right somewhere we have seen that okay when we have uh, the checkbox then only the submit button will be enabled although although the element is available on the page so it's displayed on the page but it is enabled or not right guys so let's try is enabled or not so instead of is displayed i'll be using is enabled method so i simply write is enabled so yes this is enabled this is not a disabled right that property that we are talking about this header is enabled actually so in this in this case also it should be returning true so let's run it again see three test cases are getting passed and then for this case also it's giving you true over here okay so simple now another method one more method is there that you just simple search for is existing or not it means return true if element exist in the dom doesn't matter it's displayed is enabled or not exist or not sometime what happens that okay enabled okay element is available on the page is displayed on the page okay that's fine but sometime what happens element is not displayed on the page but it's available inside the dom right so don't be confused between dom and the page so this is the page and if you right click on it and let's see if you go to uh, inspect some element is available over here but it it's not displayed over here but inside the dom it's available so that's why this method is available that is exist or not so is existing method you have to use it over here so what i'll do i'll create one more it block main heading uh, exist and instead of this is enabled i'll be using is existing okay so now you run it again and uh, Four test cases should be passed, and you can see four test cases got passed. And for the last one, it's also showing true, okay? Because it is exist available on the inside the DOM, right? So this is exist method is also available. Then we have one more method, guys, that is called is displayed viewport. This is something really interesting. That is displayed in viewport. Now, what do you mean by this? returns if the selected dom element found by given selector is partially visible and within the viewport it means it's visible on the page and within the viewport viewport means let's see the moment i launch this particular application i come on this particular page and here you see that some elements are you have to scroll down right right let's say you have to scroll down for this particular use case or this particular button you have to scroll down but in the first view it's not there right <clears throat> so that's why this method is is displayed method okay it's saying is displayed in viewport so i'll apply this method over here <clears throat> main heading okay uh displayed in viewport right so you don't need to scroll it down for this you just to okay in the first main view it's available or not so this is the first view okay so let's see it displayed in the viewport or not so instead of is existing what we have to do we have to use is displayed in viewport now let's run it again see uh, five test cases got passed and for the last one also and for the last one also it's giving you true over here you can see that okay true available over here in the terminal like that you get simple you can do some experiment for uh, some other element which is 
not available inside the viewport. So let me check if I can give you some example. Let me inspect something. Uh, let's see, this is a request to demo. And this is a, this is a link actually, you can see that a home request demo link is available. So I quickly create one a dot <coughs> home request a demo link. Okay, it's giving you first and uh, learn more is available over here. Okay, so two elements, but I want the first element. So I'll do one thing. Uh, we'll do one thing. I create one div. Oh yeah, it's still having two. Or I'll pick some other element instead of. <clears throat> I just want to take some simple example. Okay, let's see. Take this one, J meter. It's having a J meter. Okay, so I'll I'll try with XPath this time. I'll be using A. And uh, the text. Okay is equal to j meter so j meter is not available in the viewport right so i'll be using this particular x path and uh, what i'll do i'll create one getter over here that get and the link is j meter so i simply say that get j meter link like that return what return a dollar and i'll be using the x path over here okay like that. And then this particular J meter link, I'll be calling over here. So I'll do one thing, I'll create one more it block. And I simply say that uh, J meter is displayed in viewport. Okay. And uh, the function is J meter link dot is displayed in viewport. So let's see what exactly it is showing for this guy. So we will run this and let's see. Okay, so six test cases got passed and now you can see it is false, got it? Because in the first view, the J meter link, okay, was not available because the moment you first come on this particular side, the first view port is like that. So you have to keep scrolling down, okay, to display the J meters, okay? So in the first view, if you really want to see that, you have to use is displayed in the current viewport. And after you scroll down, again, you apply viewport, then it will be enabled. Then it will be, dis okay, enabled. <clears throat> then it will be visible on the viewport and then it will return true. But right now it will return false. So how to scroll down and everything, we'll do it later. Okay, so remember this particular function. This is also quite interesting. So what we have seen is displayed in viewport, is existing, is enabled and is a displayed method. So these uh, four methods are available with respect with respect to element states. Okay. So how to create a wrapper also, guys? Right? So you can create a wrapper also like that. Let's see. I want to create a wrapper for main header. How will you create along with the getter? So you simply create a wrapper that uh, let's see. Click on. Okay. Click on link. Click on. Uh, or I'll do one thing. Let's see. I'll create one more get over here. That get, and uh, I take. Let's see something. I want to click on product link. So you right click on it, go to inspect, inspect this guy product. And here in this particular product, you see that okay, it's available under LIA under UL. So I'll do one thing. I'll create one CSS that UL dot class name, and go to LI. Okay. Go to li. Which li? Okay, so you have to li colon nth child. I'll be using, and I'll simply pass one. So it's showing the product, and from there you just need to click on a. So go to a. So this is a CSS selector. Let's see, I have written over here. So what I'll do? I'll simply write that uh, get product link over here. Okay, get product link. And I simply, simply write a return a dollar. This is a CSS selector I'll be using for that. 
okay so don't be confused you can write like this also this is also fine okay so let's see i am writing like this and then you create a wrapper over here that uh, click on product link how will you click on it so to click on product link first i want to see that okay hey, if it is visible on the page if it is displayed on the page then only you have to click on it right so what i'm going to do i simply write one if condition over here if this dot first you get the product link product link dot is displayed it will return true equal to triple equal to remember triple equal to in javascript that we have already covered for the comparison if it is equal to true then what do you want then simple this dot product link dot click you have to use okay then you have to click on it right and then simple you call this particular method directly in your script so i'll create another it block i simply say that uh, click on product link okay if displayed <clears throat> so how will you call you simply write sorry i simply write that this page dot product link okay i simply call this particular function so sorry not click on product link function click on product link i'll be calling directly over here so click on product link which will come over here <clears throat> and then first it will check that okay give me the product link so first we will get the element using the getter and uh, we will check is if it is displayed it, it is returning to condition is satisfied and then simply you click on it right so let's see this is working or not and i'll do one thing for time being once it is click on it i simply say that browser dot okay i'll be using um, browser dot pause i'm going to pause my script for 5000 millisecond just to showcase you that it is actually clicking on the product link or not so let's run it and let's see oops sorry i have written get page so it's my mistake okay let it be so i'll do one thing dot pause sorry my mistake 5000 milliseconds and now you run it again see it is clicking on product now see can you see that it's clicking on product <clears throat> and after five seconds then it will be closed <clears throat> and you can see that all my seven tests got passed click on product link if it is displayed jmeter is displayed in viewport main heading it displayed in viewport main heading exists enabled displayed and this method is already written get text of all main links right so like that guys you can write multiple tests like that inside the it block over here like that quite systematic easy very fast right and if you know selenium web driver with java easily you can check these methods <clears throat> almost everything is common here and there you just need to remember the syntax that's it right so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you guys are enjoying web driver io please practice keep practicing a lot of new things are coming in web driver io and in javascript also i'll be publishing more videos so if you directly jumping on this particular video guys please watch web driver io from the first session okay don't directly jump into okay uh, <clears throat> these sessions directly right so that's all for today thank you so much i'll see you in the next session thank you bye bye